Thank you, Ms. Williams. Joining us now is the former Senegalese economy and finance minister, former economist at the International Monetary Fund, and current World Bank Vice President for Africa, Mokhtar Diop. Please welcome Mr. Diop. Good, uh, good evening, uh, everybody. It's a huge pleasure for me. I have a lot of CDs of uh, Rocky Ashraori, so being with her today is a, is a big honor. Uh, in the name of Africa region at the World Bank, I'm uh, delighted to be here with uh, our president, Jim Kim, and uh, my friend, Rachel Kite. And we'd like to thank, really, Minister Clini for his leadership and Terra Africa, Gracie Mille. And um, really to, to thank uh, Mrs. Williams for her leadership and support. I'm coming from Senegal, which is a dry country, country from the Sahel. For us, a change of, uh, of, uh, of, of two degrees in the, the world temperature doesn't mean something that we want to discuss in conferences. It means less water for us. It means drought in our area. When my friend and from Mali today are facing this hardship in the north of Mali, it's fundamentally linked to the economic conditions which are deteriorating in that part of the world. And this is the impact of climate change. When in the western part of Kenya, in Nyanza, you see flooding and you see mudslides, it's because there is climate change. And climate change for us is not in Africa. A word that is discussed only in large and big conferences is something that we're living every day. At the time where our continent is growing, at the time of our continent is today, uh, be considered as a place where the world would like to invest any external shock linked to climate change will take us back 10 years behind. We cannot afford it, and the world can afford for Africa to go back when we are doing things so rightly in the continent. So today, I think it's a, it's a, very, it's a big pleasure and honor to see that there is a coalition in the world to, uh, uh, to fight uh, uh, climate change. And this coalition is a coalition which includes not only the youth, the civil society, but all artists in the world. Uh, artists in Africa have been showing the ability to change important things like HIV AIDS. The role of artists in the fight against HIV AIDS in Africa has been tremendous. And today, we believe that without the support of the youth and artists, uh, things like climate change will not be able to be fought again in, 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 in Africa. So for me, it's a big pleasure today and big honor to introduce one of the greatest artists in Africa, Rokia Traore, who today is a voice of Mali at a time where our part of Africa is facing all this turmoil, will be sharing with us her wisdom and her voices of hope. It's also for me an honor to introduce this young rapper from Nairobi, uh, TS1, who will be showing us that it's not only by sitting in conferences and talking about, a, about climate change that we can make a difference, but we can enjoy our life and enjoy our time and try to change the future of our future and the future of our kids. Thank you so much. Respect.